Hello. Today's thought is taken from Simon Gillibode's book, Choose Life, 365 Readings. There's a Bible passage from Matthew 6 where Jesus says in verse 34, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Robert Burdett wrote this piece called God's Days. There are two days in the week upon which and about which I never worry. Two carefree days kept sacredly free from fear and apprehension. One of these days is yesterday. Yesterday with its cares and frets and pains and aches, all its faults, its mistakes and blunders has passed forever beyond my recall. It was mine, now it is God's. The other day that I do not worry about is tomorrow. Tomorrow, with all its possible adversities, its burdens, its perils, its promise and performance, its failures and mistakes, is as far beyond my mastery as its dead sister yesterday. Tomorrow is God's day. It will be mine. There is left then for myself but one day in the week, today. Any man can fight the battles of today. Any woman can carry the burdens of just one day. Any man can resist the temptation of today. It is only when we willfully add the burdens of these two awful eternities, yesterday and tomorrow, such burdens as only the mighty God can sustain, that we break down. It isn't the experience of today that drives people mad. It's the remorse of what happened yesterday and fear of what tomorrow might bring. These are God's days. Leave them to God. Living as we do in these uncertain times, we can quite rightly in some ways worry about what tomorrow will bring. But this passage just reminds us not to. Give your worries to the Lord, as Jesus tells us. I'm not saying we should no longer worry or focus about what's going to happen tomorrow. We, are, we were given brains to perhaps plan ahead. But do not worry about them. Let God do the worrying. Let us just focus on the present. So live today as a gift. As George Bernard Shaw said, yesterday is the past. Tomorrow is the future. Today is the gift. That is why it is called the present. Thank you.